All right, good morning, Woodland. Uh, come and uh, find a seat. We're so glad to have you here with us this morning on this crisp uh, January morning. Um, yeah, we've got, we've, we're kind of settling back into the normal scheme of things here at Woodland. I'm coming off of the holidays and, and just getting into the, the winter groove here. So if, if you are new to Woodland and you've got young people in your family or you influence young people, uh, you can come let, talk to me about the programs and the stuff that we have going on for, for youth and families. Um, um, but I, I'd like to just share what, what we're going back into as we continue to serve the Lord uh, with, with uh, the body that we have here. And so uh, this week, we, we pretty much go back into our normal pro- programming. So after church today, after the first hour, we do have more, and that's our second hour of education. And so we got a place for adults, which is in here. Uh, and then we've got children. They all meet in the back there. Um, and then down in the basement, our middle school class will, will gather as well. And so got a, uh, more is going on the, right after the service here today. Tonight, high school sojourn starts up again. And then on Wednesday night, we've got True Seekers and Embark, our middle school program. So if you've got students and children, uh, we, are, we are up and running, running this week. Also, uh, there are about five, four or five small groups we have that gather weekly in our church. And if you are interested or have been uh, thinking about maybe joining a small group, uh, they're all starting up again, most of them, I believe. And if you are interested and just don't know where to plug into and what's available, you can contact Brian, and he would, he would love to connect you with any of our, our small groups that are gathering. A couple of individual events coming up here in January. Uh, Super Seniors, uh, ne- not ne- this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, I believe it is, um, it, uh, the 17th, uh, you guys are gathering at the tombs. And then at the end of January, January 30th, will be our annual meeting. And so if you are a partner here, um, we would uh, invite you, encourage you to be part of that meeting as we kind of look back on 2022 and how God has blessed us. And then we kind of look to the future and and pray for and and cast vision for where our church is going. So that is January 30th. It's a Monday night, and it starts at 630. So I think that's all I've got for announcements The Nelsons are going to lead us in our first song here. Good morning. If you want to stand with us as we sing the first song, one of the themes of the message is going to be giving praise to our Creator. So this morning we're just going to start by bringing blessing to His name. Blessed be your name. 
a special guest come and share a little bit with us now. So and a lot of you know who she is. She's been with us for 25, 25 years, is that right? Uh, well, I was in this church in 1990. 1990. Yeah. So um, we're, we're going to let her share and then I'm going to pray with her. But you can stay afterwards and during the adult time, she's going to come and share a little bit more in detail. Some then I'll have some pictures. Pictures and stories. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, just a little cultural thing from Poland. Okay. What do you think of when you see this? Stop. Well, in Poland, the policemen stand by the side of the road. And if you're driving too fast, stop. <laughs> and people have to pull over. How many of you would pull over? <laughs> they stop, they stop people, and they also hold out the sign if they're checking for those who have uh, too much alcohol, but they do it randomly. When they hold out the sign, you're supposed to stop. I got to thinking about that. It's like the Holy Spirit, right? Sometimes there's this little sign that says stop, and what do we do? go right on by. We don't bother stopping. But one year, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped, and when Jesus became Lord of my life, my whole life changed. Totally changed. That's a story for another time. I moved here in 1990. I was living with a family. Actually, I was homeless for a weekend and I ended up being taken in by a family. And then another family took me in, and that was Pastor uh, Dave and Arnita Elliman. And then when they moved here, I moved with them. So I started coming to this church back in 1990. I worked at Camp Four Springs. 
1996, 13 people from this church went to Poland for an English camp. I was one of those 13. That changed my life as well. In 1998, I moved to Poland for six months. Right. <laughs> 25 years later. Um, in Poland, God has given me all kinds of uh, different things to do with the youth, with the women, and the ministry changes. It, it's not the same thing all the time. It's always something new. We had a drama group. We traveled to Slovakia and England with a drama group. We did all kinds of other things. This year, we have uh, we started a hand mine. And in Sunday school, you get to see the video that we put together for this last year, for this Christmas. Also, we have uh, something with the Indian village. And you'll see that in the video. There's all kinds of things. I'm not in the video, in the slides. There's so many different things. We need to remember when the Holy Spirit has this little light in front of us, we need to stop. Because uh, the next step is God directing our path to something we never expected. And life changes. We're just going to pray for Jana. And uh, again, I want to encourage you to come back, um, stay for more. And there'll be more, and she'll be able to share a little bit more about the ministry and some stories and questions at that time. We encourage you to be a part of that and uh, in that. Let's just uh, pray for Jana and just encourage her. Father, we thank you for sending uh, Jana to Poland. We thank you for the plans you have for her. We thank you that they're good. We thank you for just uh, watching over her with her health just recently. We thank you, God, that um, you've uh, continually guiding and directing her with the ministries you've put her in, whether it's puppets or whether it's other creative things that she does with drama. We just uh, thank you for using her there in Poland and um, reaching women and reaching youth uh, for your namesake. And we just uh, pray, God, that you would continue to supply for her needs and just to be an encouragement to her as she leaves here in a few weeks, a couple weeks. And just uh, pray, God, that you would uh, encourage her as she goes back and gets back to her familiar territory, that you would use her, Father, to encourage people in their walks with you, that you would use uh, times in your word to encourage her personally and strengthen her where you have her, and that you would continue to help her to make yourself known there in Poland for your name's sake. Uh, just encourage her today. We pray this in Jesus' name, and thank you for the Lynn's, too. I want to just lift their family up for the funeral yesterday. Just continue to encourage them. Thank you that uh, Danny is with you and celebrating, and um, thank you, God, just to encourage in this transition the Lynn family. Um, and we just lift these things up to you in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, if you want to stand with us again, we're going to continue in worship this morning. And all three of the next songs, we're just going to kind of go quickly through them, but you'll catch the common theme, which is creation bringing blessing and glory and giving it back to its creators. So this morning, as created beings, let's take our voice and our minds, focus it towards God, and offer Him our blessings. Falling from the clouds, a strange and lovely sound. I hear it in the thunder and the rain. It's ringing in the skies like cannons in the night. The music of the universe playing. We're singing you are holy, great and mighty, the moon and the stars declare who you are. I'm so unworthy, but still you love me, forever my heart will sing how great you are. Beautiful and free 
the song of galaxies reaching far beyond the Milky Way. Let's join in with the sound. Oh, come on, let's sing it out as the music of the universe plays. We're singing you. of our God and King. Lift up your voice and with us sing. Oh, praise Him. Hallelujah. Thou burning sun with golden Silver moon with softer gleam. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise him. Alleluia. Thou rushing wind that art so strong. Clouds that sail in heaven along. Oh, praise Him. Hallelujah. Thou rising moon in praise rejoice. Ye lights of evening find a voice. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia. Let all things their Creator bless and worship Him in humbleness. Oh, praise Him. Father, praise the Son, and praise the Spirit, three in one. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him, Alleluia. Oh, Alleluia.
Thank you for leading us today. And part of your leadership is choosing songs that match the theme and prepare us for worship and for learning, and you've done that. So thank you for that. Good morning, church family. Wow, it's wonderful to see you in every 
any and every circumstance, and the Lord has gathered us together again this morning, and I've been praying for this group, knowing that maybe we're a little tired today. That's okay. Let's just settle in and, and learn what the Lord would teach us today and uh, serve him as we hear from Jenna during the, the second hour and as we, uh, we open God's word here in a minute. A couple of things uh, I'll mention. I dropped some Bible reading plans up here last week. About half of them disappeared. Here's the other half. I'm just going to leave them there until somebody cleans them up. And I hope that's you, and I hope you use them. Uh, no, no, no shame or even prodding there, but it's just available, and that's the, the Bible reading plan that, that I've benefited from. Uh, also, um, we, we dropped this word more. More is the adult class in the second hour. Starts at 10.30. That's where Jan is going to be talking to us today. And um, the adult class, or more, uh, is a great place for us to talk about things that are going on in the public square, or what I call the, the civil sphere. And, um, w- you know, we're all about Jesus and the gospel here, but we're also about the implications of the gospel in all of life. And so every once in a while, we, we do a hot topic in, in more and next week, we are going to talk about the, the so-called Respect for Marriage Act, which is now the law of the land. It's no longer in a, a court opinion. It's been signed into law, and it's going to change the way that we do ministry, frankly. And so uh, the way we're going to handle this is that I have five articles that I somehow need to get to you so that you can look at them if you want to. And I'm going to post them in a dusty little corner of the internet universe called brianregeer.com for want of a better name. Um, It's also attached to the church website. If you want to go to woodlandcommunity.org, you can find it in there somehow. And probably about Tuesday of this week, I'm going to get those articles out there. You can look at them if you want to. Um, and if you subscribe, then you'll know when I've posted them. Um, anyway, yeah, th- those are going to be available, and you don't need to read them. But next week, during the second hour, we're going to have a discussion about that and, and just talk through those articles and think about the, the, uh, the evangelical response to what's going on. And I hope this is a pattern of every now and again continuing to drop these different hot topics Uh, I don't think it's going to be controversial. I think it's going to be a joy, um, and I think it's going to be hopeful, but it's the kind of thing that we want to do in more um, the the second hour. So um, just be aware of that. All right, here we are. Open your Bibles. Where should you open your Bibles to? How about the very beginning? How about the very first verse of the Bible? You know, a long journey begins with a single step and and long journey amen thank you greg and long journeys can go faster than you think they're going to go uh, but they but you got to take that first step um, i love what gandalf said to frodo It's a dangerous business, Frodo, going out your door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. That at least is what Gandalf said to Frodo. 